All right, so we're going for a Mexican spiny tail. These are very mean. Brian says don't lock eyes on it. Right there, straight ahead. Right over there. I think I need to go back off. And you can tell by the color of the skin, right? Okay. Notice something different already? The head is different. His mouth. mouth. Oh yeah. He wants to bite. He wants a bite, huh? Wow. Look at that guy. Jesus. Listen to him. Wow. <laughs> it's like a snake. Okay, hold on one second, let me just... Mother Yeah, yeah, of course. Ah! To the most important part of the video, how to dispatch the iguana properly. Yes, this is the euthanization that uh, people should use. Um, this is a 22. It's an airsoft rifle, a pellet gun. And so we're gonna take a small pellet and insert it in. And this is what's gonna dispatch, be dispatched to the brain of the iguana, which is then the best way to euthanize it. Is that gonna come back up? No. And it's just gonna go straight in and it's gonna stay in. Just want to be sure it's in the right place. And you're going to move a little, around a little bit. That's the nerve. It's pretty much brain dead at this point. Okay. If not, you can always put another one in. Sure. Okay. It's always good. But it's not moving, then you know it's pretty much done. So it's yes, okay. Yes, and you know, there's nothing wrong with being sure. And just, we don't want them in any pain, so okay. that just double sure that, you know, he's euthanized properly, and now you can go ahead and skin him or cut him for the meat, however you want to do that, okay. which we'll show you. All right. Wow, my friend is still pretty aggressive, jeez. No same for last. Oh, we're gonna do him next? Can I do them? You want them? Oh, yes. <laughs> you want me to I think I deserved it. You're doing them, not you, right? Yeah. Because you're not supposed to be the... No, so yeah, just film. Maybe get up close. Okay. Let me get it. Are you right? Um, yeah, maybe stop from the other side. Yeah, you put it on his head. All right the way up. Nope, nope. You're not in his brain. You want You want to be... Let me just show you. Where? Where? Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's okay. I'm going to just show you. Oh, let me hear. Wants a piece of 
into it. Wow, look at him going for that. Okay, that's one way you can do it. Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah, sure. What you do is go like this. Yeah. Pin, pin, get that so, so now that it's going to his brain and pop. Right there in his brain. You want, you want to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll film it too, it's okay. Again. This is for the pain you caused. Right there, right? Get, get, it up. Get, get it up. Get it up in his head. No, no. Right there? No. Uh, so what we're going to do here is called, uh, it's a field cut, it's, uh, they also call it a Mexican cut, but what we're going to do, this one's still got some movement, but we've put two shots in them, so those are just simply as nerves, as a matter of fact, talk about nerves, a lot of times they have their nerves still in their tails, so there's a lot of nerves. You know, sometimes you might want to wait a little while. This will, what this will do is go ahead and cut any of his nerves off. So he stops completely moving. He's completely dead now from the shots. Okay. But that, see, that just stopped him moving so I can handle him easier. Okay. And the Mexican cut is just basically, we're going to take his legs can use a knife you got to be careful if you use a razor but the skin is very tough so I prefer to use a razor it just seems to work better for me a lot, a lot of people like knives but I'm just using a razor I notice that no knives I'm just a box cutter basically You described the meat as a little sweet, right? Yes, a little sweet, and you can tell it's kind of flowery. Flowers like plants. It's a, a sweet chicken. Okay. It might. It has a probably a texture of more of a pork. Okay. Um, the legs and the tail is where most of the meat is. There is a little meat down the middle of the back, but it's very little. And there's also some meat here. In the cheek, huh? In the cheeks, just like any any animal has jowls. On the bigger ones, obviously you have a little more, but that gives you an idea. That little nice piece of meat from the jaw. Here, I want to go past the cloquia so you don't get all that poop in there. You get the best part of the tail out without any of the internal organs. Still moving? Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, it is. Check that out. I thought you do it unintentionally. <laughs> <laughs> That's his nerves. <laughs> Terrible. You ready?
I think we should get that one or two. Oh no, we can take the whole thing. Okay. Right? I'm gonna do that in the studio. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to show you. Yeah, yeah. And the other way, you know, this is not really edible, you know. Yeah. I like, like, like well, this, this much. Yeah, 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 much yeah much pieces, much depending. Much. If you want to deep fry it, you know, depends on how you're going to cook mm -hmm. it. But it cooks more like a pork and like chicken, pork. like uh, mm -hmm. longer than a fish. Yeah. So first I'm going to cut off this much and then put it into the hot water, boiling water, four minutes. Four, four minutes. minutes. Yeah, skin out. And then pull it off, so, let, it, let it get to where you can handle right, it, right? right? Little rinse, little rinse. Right. Cut the, this off and then you'll have the meat ready to cook. Okay. Nice. The other way, of course, you know, is to take and take and then you have to remove it. And then you have a big mess and you have very little meat. Right. You know, like I said, the only the only peat that part that I took mm -hmm. out for you in there is this. Right. This this part here. And then the legs are on. Right. You know, so so I cut here. But that's when I gut it and then I cut it. Where this is typically most people are gonna be doing it the simple way, you know. Because they don't want to have to gut them a lot of time. So that's no much meat in the in the even the very the little bucket. very little in the, in here. Oh, okay. Feel it. It's it's like it's only bones, right? Okay. Yeah, bones. A little bit like right here, and then and then here it starts getting thick again. Mm -hmm. This little piece back here is a nice piece of meat, but it's very little in through here either. And a little bit of darkness. Uh -huh. It's a combination of white and dark, almost like a pork. Like a chicken, but sweet flavor. Well, Brian, we want to thank you very, very much for the great time we had catching okay. all these iguanas. Also, David, thanks so much, well, Captain thank you David. Guys. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't, they didn't get your finger off. Right, I know. Lucky, it's still yeah. uh, a little bleeding. You got me a little bit, but we'll survive. Let me ask you, what's the best way to people to contact you? Just on Facebook. That's how iguana, we found you. Iguana Catchers on Facebook. All okay. American Gator and IguanaCatchers.com. Okay, you see the information and you down can below. Come out and hunt with us, or if you'd like to try eating some, um, you can give us contact there. Okay, thank you again. Thank you. All right, here's Han. You ready? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna go back, back and make something delicious. Yeah. Make some delicious food. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course I'm gonna cut off this side. Yeah, maybe this much. This one, okay. Okay. Okay, wow, look at that meat in there. You know? oh, can I keep this as a souvenir here? Yeah, you can, you can, you can keep it. I wonder what's gonna happen. Will it go bad? It was freaking nasty. Yeah. I was just say you could hurt someone with this. Then yeah, next time, uh, next one, I want to cut off the head. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And there's a lot of cheek. There's me and the cheek too, right? They said. Yeah. Then I'm gonna do a. Uh, actually, I need uh, this spine. Okay. So let me take the guts out. Okay.
then I, I, I'm gonna just uh, use a spoon to squeeze out this. Okay. And then I'm gonna hold and keep it and put in the boiling water okay. and let the skin out. All right. Then I'm gonna use for what I'm thinking. Okay, which I still don't know. Mystery right now? Yeah. You know what I'm what I'm going to make? Fried rice. No. no. I wanna use all these things, put in the making soup stock. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna make it ramen. Oh nice. Yeah. Nice Harold. Alright, I didn't know idea. So that's why I need uh, more onions. Yeah. And uh maybe head is uh, I just gonna put it put a head head too, right? Yeah. But I'm gonna I put the head. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wash it up. Okay. Ready? Okay, that's good. Oh, great, Zero. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to put into uh, hot water. Okay. And then skin out. Okay. This one too. Put it here. Okay, that's it. Okay. For now. <coughs> 